Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Flora and today we are doing a full recap of my first year of university. So for those of you who might not know me quite yet, I am in the biomedical engineering program at the University of Waterloo and I'm currently on my first co-op term with the Ontario Digital Service as a product designer. Today I will be going over how I navigated through an entirely online year of university. So that includes topics such as classes and how they compare to high school as well as my organizational tips, my grades, my mental health throughout the school year, finding a co-op, and last but not least, my social life or lack thereof and any extracurriculars that I did throughout the year. I've divided this video up into different sections so you can use the timestamps to jump around or skip to whatever is most relevant to you. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. During first semester, most of my classes actually had a synchronous component, whether it be lectures, tutorials, or office hours. This was actually pretty atypical of Waterloo programs such as science and math. After talking to some of my friends, they mentioned that they didn't have any synchronous components whatsoever. I mean, you're sitting in your room for 16 hours a day, so if you don't have anyone to talk to, it can be pretty sad. Some of my classes, such as calculus, also had a flipped classroom model. That means that you will actually learn the content on your own, either through online modules or some other type of resource, and the professor is there to clarify any things that you might be unsure about through their office hours. In my first semester, I took seven courses, so that was engineering communications, a 3D modeling course where we use SOLIDWORKS, intro to computer science with C Sharp, intro to engineering design, statics one, which is physics, calculus one, and also a linear algebra course. Personally, I felt that a lot of the content was fairly similar to a high school level. I did take the certificate IB program in high school and I also did AP Calc. All in all, I felt like the content was fairly manageable and I think many of my peers felt the same way. As for organization, I used Notion very heavily. Like I was a full-on convert in September. I used Notion to keep track of my schedule. Um, any upcoming assignments, and I also used it to generate a to-do list for me every week. At the beginning of the school year, I basically put every single deliverable, whether it be a quiz, final, midterm, into this giant table, and whenever I was at the start of a new week, I would just sort it by a weekly view, and then it would give me a very nice to-do list in the form of a Kanban board. So highly recommend Notion and if y'all want, I can also do a Notion tour at some point later on. In terms of professors, I feel pretty fortunate that mine were all quite understanding of the whole situation that was COVID-19 and starting university during a pandemic. In addition, if you go to Waterloo, there's also this really useful website called UW Flow, which basically houses student reviews on almost every single course and every single prof at Waterloo. So if you're curious about who you have or you're kind of scared of who's on your timetable, you can go check what other people have said and learn from their experiences. As for a second term, I felt like it was both better and worse. Better because I let myself put less pressure academically and I think for my mental health that definitely gave me a little bit of leeway and I felt happier, I think. But also, partly because of that, I felt like my self-discipline went down. I think I almost forgot to mention my courses in second semester, but here they are. Yet another calculus course, a linear algebra course once again, uh, human factors in engineering design, data structures and algorithm, chemistry for engineers, and last but not least, psychology 101, which was my only elective in first year. During the semester, I also was looking for a co-op, so that meant that I was searching for a job in the first few weeks of school. So at Waterloo, the way that it works is that in engineering and some other various programs, you alternate between four-month study terms and four-month co-op terms for the entirety of your degree. For me, I was looking for my first ever co-op, very exciting, and I had an interest in product design. So as someone who didn't actually have any product design experience, it was a little bit of me scrambling together to get side projects done and developing my own portfolio website just in time for interviews. I actually found a resource at Waterloo called UWUX. It's a student organization that offers things like workshops and office hours and I think their office hours 
honestly it helped me land my interviews and my job. The way that the recruitment process works at Waterloo is that it's split into three rounds each term. There is first round and second round, which each last around two weeks, I believe, and also a continuous round. For me, I think I was super fortunate and I landed a job in first round along with 12% of my cohort. I will put a graph of our employment stats up on the screen so y'all can take a look. But I think finding a job that early into the term really helped relieve some of my stress. So that meant that I didn't have to be continually applying and interviewing throughout the semester afterwards. And now for the tea. Grab my mug. This is actually water, but we can pretend that it's tea. I will be talking about my grades. Honestly, I think my first semester and second semester saw some really inflated grades for the cohort as a whole. To give you some context, my cohort had a 90% average in first term and an 88% average in second term across all 107 or so people. And that is pretty unheard of in engineering. I'm not quite sure why our averages were so high, but I think it probably had to do with the fact that most of our assessments were open book. So there were different restrictions with different exams, but some of them allowed you to look at your notes, whereas others gave you full reign of the internet with the exception of sites like Wolfram Alpha. As for my own grades in first, term, I think all of my courses except for two were 90 or above um, and the two that were below 90 were engineering design which I had an 88 in and my linear algebra course which I had 89 in. So I think my average for first year was 94% but in second semester was where I kind of let myself go. Um, for the most part my grades hovered around 89 to 91 um, for all of my courses except for my two math courses which I really um, could have done better. And now to talk about my mental health. Honestly I think that my happiness levels and my stress levels really ebbed and flowed throughout the school year. In terms of its relation to school, it being my mental health, I think in first semester I definitely had a period where the effort that I was putting into school and the results I was seeing weren't exactly aligning. So for me, that was really frustrating and I definitely remember having a few good cry sessions. <laughs> I think that crying really does help you release that emotional angst. So if you need to do it, by all means, give yourself that sweet, sweet emotional relief. I did eventually come to the realization that you don't need perfect grades to be successful. For example, when you're applying to co-ops, most employers don't really care about your average as long as you're above like a certain threshold. I want to say like 75 or like 80%. So it's honestly, the bar is not that high. As long as you have good experience, so whether that's from other previous co-ops or from side projects, grades are no longer of the utmost importance as they were in high school. So after realizing that in second semester, I, like I mentioned earlier, I kind of lifted a little bit of pressure for myself and that was good for my mental health. But also in second semester, I had a lot less synchronous sessions. So for me, that felt like a lot more isolation and that again was not great. So I like to think of myself as a pretty social person and when suddenly I didn't have as much human interaction, I just began feeling gloomier and not as great about myself. And now onto social life and extracurriculars. So in terms of social life, I must say Discord is a life changer. I am not really much of a gamer, so that meant that I didn't really use Discord or know very much of it until I got to university. In first year, it was basically a godsend for all forms of communication between people in my cohort as well as for extracurriculars. I think my mic just slipped down my shirt. Basically, we would use it to post information about all our classes, so updates for assignments and things like that. And I would also use it to contact my friends, whether it be for a chat or to help each other with homework. Also, I was a huge fan of Discord game nights where we would just hop on with like 10 other people from my program and we would all play Among Us for like three or four hours. And honestly, those were some of my fondest memories from first year. As for extracurriculars, I've been involved with, I want to say 
four student organizations since entering school last September, the first of which is Engineering Society. I was the NGSOC rep, Engineering Society rep, um, for my cohort of about 107 people. This is a position that we vote on every year and it basically meant that I would attend our bi-weekly council meetings with the rest of the Engineering Society and uh, listen to all the updates, vote on whatever policies or things that we had on the table and then relay all of that information back to my cohort. In addition to the rep position, I was also their secretary in second semester, so during the winter. And I also had a role as one of the diversity directors. I wanna say diversity. It's either diversity director or inclusivity director. Diversity initiatives is something that I really care about and that's also why I joined two other organizations, the first of which is Tech Plus. So I was involved with them as a mentee. Um, they have the most amazing mentorship programs that help students understand what they're getting into in the field of tech. Being a mentee for a couple terms, I applied to join the organization and I am now one of their graphic designers. The other student organization that I joined this term, so in spring term, was UWUX. So yes, we have come full circle. I have joined the organization that helped me land my internship. For them, I am the DEI, so Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Lead. Last but not least, I am also involved with a student org called Lou Labs, where we basically design software for Waterloo students. Even though I started university during a pandemic, I think I had a pretty good first year experience. I met a lot of awesome people, both in my program and outside of it. I landed a co-op that I really love and I started a YouTube channel, I guess. I know that fall semester will actually have some in-person components and for that I am very excited to finally go across the country to my university for the first ever time. But I will definitely miss home and I look forward to taking y'all along with me. So please leave any comments down below for thoughts that you have about this video or suggestions for next week's video. I hope these videos will become a weekly thing. Fingers crossed. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.